This year is the 50th anniversary of the Uvalde State Football Championship. The team, the coaches, will be honored at this Friday's home game, their first home game. One of those coaches moved on to become a local high school legend. Jerry Comalander sat down with our RJ Marquez to reflect on his time in Uvalde and what the community means to him. Before Jerry Comalander became a San Antonio coaching legend, he was an assistant for the Uvalde Coyotes football team in the early 1970s. So many uh, memories, starting with a group of guys becoming a team. Comalander was an offensive coach under another local legend, head coach Marvin Gustafson. The athletic environment was super. Just a lot of good people, a lot of good people at the high school. The two men helped lead Uvalde to an unbeaten season in 1972. The trophy and photos of their state title are still at the high school. Coach Gustus's son, Carl, also sharing some of those lasting memories with us. That was a great accomplishment. There are some of those guys that still live there. I know they are connected with that community. They played hard. They played together as a team. The 1972 Uvalde Coyotes football team is the only football state champion in the city history. Now, Coach Comalander told us today at the Alamo Dome that he just wants these players to focus on doing their best and representing the community. These kids from Uvalde have gone through more than an emotional week. They've gone through several months of, of high emotion. As the 1972 team returns Friday to be honored by the community during the home opener, it will come on a night of more healing. The score will take care of itself. I know they want to play good for themselves and for Uvalde High School, most of all for that community. Friday will be a night to recognize the past and support the players that now wear the Uvalde colors and jersey. It's going to, it's got to be an emotional night for them and it's going to be that way for everybody there. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.